Hello, this is a Daniel from the People System Store, and we're here to bring a safety to like every home, house, and neighborhood. Today's topic is a two and a four megapixel Dahua cameras, the HDW2013 SPS2 and HDW1431 SPS2, both of a light series. Now, straight to the point. So the HDW2030 SPS2 and the HDW1421 SP2, these are a dumb cameras with a fixed video lens and the body here combines a metal and a plastic and the entire film is hidden in the ball this one of the light, which in turn is fixed on the plastic holder. So the camera has a communication tail, ARG45 plus A power and in general the camera passes under the IP67 standard and also the manufacturer's records for its use for the different types of installation. I mean you'll see an insert with images for brackets on the frame. And camera's lens is fixed and has 2.8mm focus. So the infrared illumination is made well the classical way pretty much. They all just go around the lens out here. Now let's get the specifications. So for these cameras, the only functional difference lies well in the resolution and a frame rate. I mean, the Dahua HDW2030 SPS2 can write at a maximum of 1080p and 30 frames per second, and the HD1431 SPS2 can go along 4 megapixels at a 2 FPS. So if you want to choose three. And if you choose a 3 megapixels and below it, the speed increases up to the 30 frames per second. Those cameras work with a 365 and a 64 codex. They support the Unlift, PDP, Slash and Slash AVS function says the uh, line retraction and the area control. And you can manage the video events here. The motion detector, lens closing, and a scene change feature, due to which you can activate a recording notifications and the rest. But picture setting is available here too. I mean, the brightness, the contrast, the saturation, sharpness, gamma, it's pretty flexible you like to customize things. And a software image flipping is 90 to 270 degrees. And it also has that image mirroring. So, I just gotta say that the software updates are being released all the time, so the manufacturer's support will last for a really long time here. So the box includes a like secret plate, oh, it's just for some convenient mounting, some screws, the user's manual, a fastener kit to well to mount a cable like, conveniently weight, and firmware CD so this is the first thing you wanna launch when you just connect the cam. And well the cam itself is well there's like a two parts this, all of this. Is made out of plastic and the main part is a metal plus a glass and here you can see some tail yeah for connecting the power power cable here yeah and the rg 4 5 or the LAN port and that's it so simple now let's just take a glance just a simple quick glance at the lab interface that Dahua introduces to us to control the settings of this camera now let's just talk about like a few minutes, like two, three, five, not, not more, about the web interface. You just typically just take your IP, you can see here, this is mine, you just paste it in the browser and you go and you log in, do this, log in, and so here you go. There you can see our camera looks on the screen in a live view, so it's pretty awesome quality. All right. So, the settings, what you can do here, adjust the style, like there are presets, but you can always adjust the brightness, uh, customize the way you want it to look like, your brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, gamma, or mirror, like everything you want. Here is, well, the profile, so it may automatically turn on or turn off, it depends on how do you set it up. And we use settings. Like here, you can choose the encode mode. You can see, well, I rather recommend using the H365 card because, well, it like uh, <laughs> cuts everything like to 70% your hard 
drive space as an awesome function. Smart codec, a resolution, frame rate, bit rate, quality, and everything you can see it here. And also there is a substream. Snapshots, you can always choose it by general or the event. Overlay, any path where it saves the, all the files, all the records, and the snapshots. And so here are the typical network settings. The IP, the port settings for sure, the triple BOE, the DNS or the mask, SMTP, it, yeah, 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 the UPnP, uh, the Bonjour, Multicast, Wi-Fi, QoS, Sensible Forum, and here, here, you can also enable the P2P function as you can see uh, ours is enabled already that means you can just download the DAOS phone app we call the IDMSS or GDMSS for the Android it's free I recommend to get the full version there's a light to get the full and so you'll be you'll be able to well, to view your camera from like any point of the world just having a phone and the current connection and should the on the support HTTPS on it now let's get to the event like detect now, as you can see if it is detection works if alarms if you want if you're not doesn't matter right now <laughs> but still uh, you can set it by the event if something happens for sure and you can see all the settings and also be a temper and a scene change and true that normality settings the, about the illegal access if you can see there is the five recommended too and network so next is a storage you can schedule here the time when the camera will be recording yeah it just simply gets done here just paint it here just draw lines the same thing about the snapshots and about the holiday schedule. I mean, you probably want to turn off or turn on, I don't know where you live, the aesthetics. So, it's just simply here, choose the mouse and say, choose the date and say. Destination here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Record by the FTP or the NES, the motion detection, if on, off. Yeah. The FTP for sure, we got the automatic. And the NAS if you want. Record control. Here you can just choose how uh, well the like how long will it be. And the disk and record mode, like everything. System here. The general, yeah, the name, English, language, uh, video standard, and sure set a date and time. As you can see. Uh, this is my time zone and you set uh, on yours and also uh, there's an awesome button here to sync with the personal computer and just put it and it syncs with your computer so it's just awesome you don't have to type it all the way you can here well, you can add multiple users here just there's a button add user you can see I'm an admin and give them the rights right here a rules same as here, it's pretty simple, right? Uh, safety, mm, well, sure. The CCH, the IP filter, and the possible reset. Default here, you can always get this device to the default factory settings. So there's two buttons if you've done something wrong. And all the import about the backup, you can also schedule it if you want it. Auto maintain, which means the anti reboot, auto delete all the files, it depends on how do you measure if it's old or no, and it depends on your situation. And the upgrade, so you have to automatically both, it auto checks every time you ask, so see, is the latest version. And information about it, hmm. Let's see, you got everything here set up so very nice thank you simplicity efficiency a functionality and for reasonable money isn't it perfect right the bullseye was it is it so die series scans have already shown themselves quite well in practice and i can recommend it for a small budget surveillance well because you know, 
basically our clients are buying it all of the time and they say they like it and it's affordable so on my side i can guarantee the quality and the safety that people systems brings to you with our products so when you're ready to get this beauty or any other thing that you want for you for your home for your like patient safety surveillance just and you pick us with this purpose, just tell your manager you are a people subscriber and you got a special offer. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to you with the people systems.